Today I'd like to talk with you about neonatal care for your new puppies. So actually neonatal care actually starts about two weeks before your bitch whelps uh, or has her puppies. And what we want to do is set up a, a whelping area where she's going to be raising her puppies. If she free whelps, that's where she's going to have her puppies. If we're planning a C-section, that's where she's going to come home to raise her puppies. So we want an area that, one, is not a high traffic area. Mom shouldn't be around other dogs. Um, other dogs can create stress in the environment for mom. And there have reported cases of a bitch savaging her litter. Um, savaging means that she will either injure or kill the puppies, which is uh, you know, something we do not want to happen. So we want to keep that environmental stress to a minimum for our bitches. Um, the other thing is we don't want a lot of people coming in to see the new puppies. There is a, a tendency to want to have show the puppies off or have everybody kind of come and see them. We want to keep that to a minimum because we don't want um, accidental exposure to diseases like parvo and other and, and uh, kennel cough to the puppies. So now that your girl's had act is used to her environment and she's had her puppies, um, we've got to remember that our, our newborn puppies can't regulate their own body temperature. Uh, so it takes them about 10 to 14 days to actually gain that ability. So we need to keep that environment warm and draft free. About 80 degrees, we don't want it real humid, about 50% humidity or so. And we want to have a, a contained area. Uh, kitty pools are great. Um, some people will use other, other types of whelping boxes. Uh, I like to use towels and not newspapers in those boxes so that the puppies have better purchase. This means you're going to have to be changing towels out if they get soiled. Also, we want to have a warm end of the whelping area and we want a cooler end so the puppies can kind of find their, their best place. Um, heating lamps are a nice, nice way to keep the area a little bit warm um, and versus a cooler area so the puppies can find where they want to be. You should be weighing your puppies twice a day and keeping a record of those, of those weights. Puppies should on average gain about 10% of their body weight each day. Um, puppies, just like human uh, babies, they, if they're happy, they're eating, sleeping, pooping, and peeing. If they're unhappy, they're vocal. So if you have vocal puppies, you need to investigate and find out why. A lot of times they're too cold. If they get cold, uh, their gut motility decreases and they'll get gas or they get constipated, um, just as an example. So if you have any questions about your new puppies, just give us a call here at Town & Country and we can kind of discuss things.